I'm a, a consulting chemist, and I want to tell you that the polyaromatic hydrocarbons that come off of asphalt when it's being made are just about the most carcinogenic fume that is out there. Diesel fumes are second. Uh, diesel fumes get into the lungs, enter the bloodstream, and get lodged in the capillaries. Diesel particles accelerate aging and are carcinogenic. And that's why the state of California is requiring that all diesel trucks uh, be retrofitted with filters. So I know a lot of people here are going to talk about Schollenberger, and I love Schollenberger too, but I'm not going to talk about Schollenberger. I think what the letter, the letter needs to focus on a few business issues and a few technical issues. And first I want to talk about the technical issues. In the Dutra plan, they plan on pumping 20,000 gallons of Petaluma River, river water onto the gravel that's going to be made into the asphalt. That isn't really fresh water. That's salt water. I mean, in, during the dry season and when the tide's coming in, it's 95% salt water. And when you put salt onto gravel and then incorporate it into this hydrophobic, water-resistant membrane that a, that a road is supposed to be, what you're doing is you're creating a sponge of all these water-dissolvable spots, all these salt particles. By pumping water out of the Petaluma River and spraying it on the gravel, they're going to make that asphalt not last very long, and that's in their commercial interest. So that is a terrible idea. If they wanted to mitigate the dust, they would have to do it with fresh water, which would mean 20,000 gallons of fresh water that would come out of Petaluma's allotment as we're going into a drought. I know that the, that the road is going to get white. I know that Petaluma needs asphalt. Okay? It's awful stuff. It's the bottom of the barrel of the hydrocarbon process. But it's reality. We're going to, we're going to need an asphalt plant. Putting it there is a disaster. Mitigation, you can talk about mitigation, and if you're going to talk about mitigation, the only thing you can do is totally enclose it for one. Secondly, it's terribly important that you don't just use electrostatic precipitators, which is what they're planning to do. You have to incinerate and put a catalytic converter just like you would a car. You have to incinerate those polyaromatic hydrocarbons because you cannot let the public read that stuff. It is a known carcinogen. Okay, so from a technical point of view, the salt is a disaster. If you locate it at that site, you must contain it. The site must be entirely contained, which I'm sure the Dutra company is going to resist. And finally, you must completely incinerate the, the hydrocarbons. But I would advocate that we have a responsibility as users of asphalt. I mean, I came here in a hydrocarbon belching truck over asphalt. I'm, I'm complicit. I'm, I'm creating demand for asphalt, just like everybody else is. I'm not holier than that, OK? So we're all in this together. We're asphalt users. I, I, my name is Alan, and I'm an asphalt <laughs> user. <laughs> but, and it isn't a question of not in my backyard. This is a question of not in my living room, not in my front yard. If, if I drove here in my truck and I stuck a, a hose on the end of my exhaust pipe and, and shoved it into the cab, that would be really stupid, wouldn't it? Well, putting, putting a plant right at the heart of Petaluma, belching out all of these polyaromatic hydrocarbons is exactly as stupid as sticking a, a hose on the end of your exhaust pipe and sticking it in the cab of your vehicle. Don't do it. We have to build a plant. And from an aerial view, from a Google map point of view, it looks so seductive to bring in this material on barges really close to 101. What, logistically, you couldn't come up with a better place to put this plant. It's perfect. But the people who looked at the aerial Google map didn't know that it's putting the birds aside for now. It's right next to our only commercial hotel, the Sheridan. It's going to destroy the Sheridan. 
There's a high density apartment complex that has been built since this plan first got started, right behind the Sheraton. And all of those people are gonna be right downwind. All of the businesses along Petaluma Boulevard are gonna be impacted by this. This is a bad business decision, okay? So don't put it there. We have to take responsibility. It will be built in Sonoma County. Do not put it in our front yard. Thank you.